As tensions in Israel continue to grow, news about plans for a controversial megaproject that has been around for decades has resurfaced. At present, Egypt's Suez Canal remains one of the most important waterways in the world, as 10% of the world's cargo ships sail through this strategic route between the Eastern Mediterranean and the Red Sea, connecting Europe and Asia. The emergence of a new canal parallel to the Suez Canal could reshape the balance of power in the region and have a profound impact on global trade. It is within this context that Israel's plans to build a new canal to rival the Suez Canal has come to light. Well, it just so happens that Gaza is in the middle of the proposed path for the major second canal in the region. Could this be the underlying reason for the ongoing conflict? Join us today as we uncover the staggering details of this mega project and explore the motives behind its construction. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Before we uncover the details on Israel's proposed canal, it is necessary to shift our focus to Egypt's Suez Canal. The Suez Canal is a man-made canal that connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea providing a crucial shortcut for shipping between Europe and Asia. The construction of the canal was a massive engineering project that took over 10 years to complete and involved the efforts of tens of thousands of workers. The Suez Canal was officially opened in November 1869 with great fanfare and celebration. The canal was an instant success reducing the journey between Europe and Asia by thousands of miles and providing a major economic boost to Egypt and other countries in the region. Today, the Suez Canal remains one of the most important waterways in the world, handling millions of tons of cargo each year and playing a critical role in global trade and transportation. The Suez Canal is presently worth a staggering $9.4 billion to Egypt. Building a new canal parallel to the Suez Canal would have a devastating impact on the Egyptian economy and its people. The origins of the Israeli canal date back to the mid-1800s, when the British considered the proposal of a canal to the Red Sea via the Dead Sea. In 1855, William Allen, an English naval officer and an explorer proposed an alternative to the Suez Canal. His idea was that a canal that would connect the three water bodies, the Red Sea, the Dead Sea and the Mediterranean Sea, would be cheaper than the projected Suez Canal. The canal would connect the Mediterranean Sea with the Gulf of Aqaba and thus the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. The U.S. toyed with the idea of digging a canal opposite the Suez Canal in 1963. It was recommended as a response to the decision taken by the Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser to nationalize the Suez Canal in 1956. The controversial Israeli canal was revealed to the world only in 1994 and was named after the first Prime Minister of Israel, David Ben-Gurion. On April 2, 2021, Israel announced that work on the Ben-Gurion Canal is expected to begin by June 2021. This new canal would cause a major financial threat to Egypt and its trade artery. But Israel says this route is good for the ships which are unable to transit the Suez Canal due to restrictions on the size of the ship. If it goes ahead, this new canal will be 293 kilometers long, almost one-third longer than the 193 kilometers Suez Canal. It would cost an estimated $55 billion to construct. Whoever controls the canal will have enormous influence over the global supply routes for oil, grain, and shipping. Israel has projected an income of about $6 billion a year or more from the canal. This is in addition to the fact that Israel will have the largest artery connecting the Mediterranean with the Red Sea. The canal will also drastically reduce the possibility of a crisis in world trade, like the one seen during the Suez Canal blockage in 2021 when a cargo ship got stuck and caused the biggest traffic jam. Unlike the Suez Canal, the Ben-Gurion Canal can handle ships going in both directions. This will be achieved by the creation of two canals. Unlike the Suez Canal, which is along the sandy shores, the Israeli Canal will have rocky walls, which means that it scarcely requires maintenance. Israel plans to build small cities, 
hotels, restaurants, and nightclubs along the canal. Each proposed canal is about 50 meters in depth and about 200 meters in width. They will be 10 meters deeper than the Suez Canal. A ship with a length of 300 meters and a width of 110 meters, which is the largest size of ships in the world, will be able to pass through the canal. Like any other project, canals are built after extensive planning and survey. On the engineering side, man-made canals typically involve processes like dredging and excavation. Excavation is the process of digging out the earth and rock to create a channel for the water to flow through. Post-excavation, water is provided through external sources like reservoirs or streams. Dredging is often used to deepen and widen the canal. Dredging involves using a special machine called a dredger to remove sediment and debris from the bottom of the canal. This helps to keep the canal clear and navigable for ships. Depending on the terrain, locks and gates may be installed to control the water flow and maintain the water level in the canal. The Ben Gurion Canal construction will take about five years involving about 300,000 engineers and technicians who will be recruited from around the world. The original plan involved 520 nuclear blasts to excavate more than 160 miles through Israel's Negev Desert instead of traditional methods. After construction, Israel will place spying devices in the depth of the canal and will place monitoring devices at the heart of the canal. It will also erect the largest barrier that detects weapons and will photograph each ship crossing the canal back or forth with a laser beam. Yet the real challenge lies in the fact that the canal wouldn't have the benefit of a pre-existing waterway to dredge, as the Suez did, or a basically flat landscape to cross, as the Suez does. It would be a much bigger job than the Suez was. But as a superpower of science and engineering, Israel has the resources and is fully capable of going ahead with this complex infrastructure project. If this canal were to be built, Israel will benefit immensely. Ben Gurion Canal will give Israel the freedom from blackmail arising out of access to the Suez Canal. Arab states have been leveraging the Red Sea to pressure Israel and in response, Israel has decided to gain more control of the Red Sea. One of the main military benefits for Israel is that it gives Israel the strategic options as the Ben Gurion Canal will totally take away the importance of Suez for the US military if needed in the aid for Israel. With its strategically invaluable location, Gaza potentially sits at the epicenter of the Ben Gurion Canal's monumental aspirations. Strategically, Gaza's pacification is critical for the canal to attain its groundbreaking potential. There's a more profound economic and strategic calculus at play, one that the global community must awaken to. Most conceptualized canal designs favor a pronounced detour to the north to bypass Gaza. But taking control over Gaza would allow for a more direct route without the winding detours, drastically reducing the transit duration and potentially leading to substantial financial savings of billions. Moreover, a canal closer to or tracing the Egyptian border would offer unparalleled military advantages, fortifying Israel's defenses and providing a buffer against potential threats from the south. Nevertheless, experts are of the opinion that building this new canal will shake the strategic energy balance of China's Belt and Road Project and the Mediterranean, along with the Strait of Hormuz, which is the transfer point of 30% of the world's energy, and may trigger a global war. What do you think? Is this mega project really necessary for the region, or is it just another profitable venture? We are interested to hear your thoughts about this proposed canal. Leave your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.